it's Brina and today I'm going to do the what's on my iPhone tag ever since I got the iPhone 5 a lot of you guys have been requesting this so I just wanted to go through my phone and let you know some of the apps that I'm loving right now because I found these videos very helpful when I first got my phone because I just watched all the different videos and I found a bunch of cool apps for me to download so not only was this video requested but I kind of just wanted to do it to help out anyone that has an iPhone and doesn't know what to download off this is my iPhone case it's from me bling bling .com. I will link it down below it's only the back case I don't have the front part as it's not available for the iPhone 5 yet and I will be doing a giveaway for your very own me bling bling case so stay tuned for that at the end so this is my lock screen it's just Tiffany so I'm going to open that so my background just says keep calm and have breakfast at Tiffany's at the bottom I have four of my most used apps just because this is the most accessible I have messages which is just text messages then I have mail and my mail is divided into three categories I have my YouTube email, I have my personal email, and I have my school email. And then the one beside that is phone, obviously to make phone calls. And then the last option is music. And I have a bunch of different music, we'll just go th scroll through. So the song playing right now is The Party and the After Party by The Weeknd. And I'm loving this album right now even though it's kind of old. So what else do I have? I have Adele, Big Sean, Britney Spears, Chris Brown, Bruno Mars. David Guetta, Dead Mouse, Drake, Eminem, Frank Ocean, Good Music, um, Iggy Azalea, I'm absolutely loving her right now, Justin Bieber, Kanye West, Katy Perry, Kesha, Kid Cudi, Lil Wayne, let's just scroll through, um, Rihanna, I love Rihanna, she's my favorite, I have Taking Back Sunday, that's from like way back in the day, um, The Weeknd, Trey Songs, Taylor Swift, I am loving her album right now, it's absolutely awesome. And I never listened to Taylor Swift's music before, but this Red album is killing it. And then at the bottom I just have Brina's Bangers and Brina's Beats, and those are just random music. So Bangers is all rap music, and then Beats is just beats, like house music and whatnot. So on my homepage I have some of my most used apps, and then I have ones that I can't remove from the homepage. So I have Instagram, which is my absolute favorite, and if you guys aren't following me, it's just Brina Lara. So this is just the Instagram app. If you guys don't have this app, I highly suggest you get it. It's super awesome and really addicting. Um, I like looking through at inspirational pictures, like on beauty and hair and makeup related things, and then I like looking at celebrities' pictures as well. This picture is actually from iMats with a bunch of different subscribers. And this is iMats with some beauty gurus. So I have a couple pictures. I don't have too many, but I like Instagram. Then the second app I have is Twitter, which I absolutely love. So I'll just open this up. This is my Twitter. It's the same as my username, at SabrinaXO. I really wanted at SabrinaXO for Instagram, but somebody took it, of course. And then I just have Facebook and, of course, YouTube. Then below that I have videos, pictures, camera, safari, iTunes, app store, clock, and maps. Maps is really helpful because I'm direction retarded and I get lost everywhere. So these are all the different apps that I have and they're just divided in little sections. The first one I didn't really categorize it, but it's entertainment land. So I'll just go ahead and open that up. This is just like random stuff for entertainment. So I have iHoroscope, iFunny, Grades 2, which is awesome for school. It keeps you very organized. Pet app, which I actually haven't opened yet, but it has a bunch of cute animal-related things apparently. Then I have Archie Comics, Find iPhone, which is really helpful if your iPhone gets stolen. I highly recommend that. Then I have Rage Comics, Countdown, which is awesome for counting down to special events like birthdays, New Year's, whatever. Then I have light and emoji free. Emoji free is awesome because then you can send those cute little emoticons in your pictures and stuff. I should probably let you know that my iPhone is called Princess Brina and everything in there is called Brina Land. So I don't know, don't ask, don't judge me. But the next one is actually a red car and a ladybug because I drive a Volkswagen Beetle. So it's Buggy Land and this is just all car related stuff. So the first one I have is Halo and that is awesome for calling taxi cabs. Then the second one I have is Gas Buddy, which is really cool because you just open it up. So with this, you can just find the closest gas station to you with the cheapest gas. Then I have Find My Car, which is awesome if you're going shopping at a mall, maybe on Boxing Day or Black Friday, which would be really helpful because it's so busy, the parking lot is crazy, so you kind of just GPS where you parked your car in the parking lot in case you forget because I'm very forgetful. This third app right here is Camera Land, but I forgot to put Land. In this app, I have everything that is picture related. So Fusel app is great for making collages. 
Same thing with the one beside it. I don't know what it's called. Pinterest. If you guys don't have a Pinterest account, you need to make one. It's kind of like an Instagram, but it's just a collection of ideas and it's super addicting. Then I have Red Stamp, which you can just make little like invitations and cards. Plastic Surgery app is you can just like give yourself a nose job and make your face look funky and stuff. Be Funky, it just makes your camera lens weird. Then I have Cut Me In, it's for cropping. Woo! Um, Pick Stitch is what I normally use. This one right here, Pick Stitch, is what I normally use to create my collages on Instagram. Um, same with collages. Lumi is really cool because it adds all those little funky details. So you can have like all these like random hearts and move them around and whatnot. These ones right here I just recently downloaded and I actually haven't opened them yet, but they were highly recommended. This color free is awesome because you can make your whole picture black and white and then you can just focus the color on a certain object. So this whole frame could be black and white, but my colorful cheetah print blouse could be the only main focus for the color. Then I have Fatify, which just makes you really, really chubby. And I have Old Magic, which makes you really, really old. And I haven't tried those yet, but I heard they're funny. Then the second app I have right here is Foodland, and that is just everything related to food and health. So I have iFood, I have Food Network, which is awesome for recipes. E Street is really great to find those mobile car food places, car food trucks, is that what they're called? Then I have Jamie Oliver Recipes, and then I have Fast Food, which is great if you want to find a certain McDonald's and you're in an area that you don't really know too well. Bakery Story is really fun. It's actually a game and it's Halloween themed and you just have your own little bakery shop. I have My Fitness Pal, which tracks your calories, lose it, does the exact same thing. Then I have Period Tracker, which is self-explanatory and it just tracks your period. And mine says zero days left. Is that TMI? This one right here is Martha Stewart's Cocktails, which I absolutely love because it gives you a bunch of different recipes for drinks. Then I have this one sleep pillow which is awesome. It actually tracks your sleep and plays music to help you sleep and I thought that was really helpful because being in university I get really stressed out and I don't sleep a lot so I thought that was pretty cool. Then on to my favorite section which is Gameland and personally when people tell me they have iPhones but they don't download any games or even apps itself I think it's kind of pointless for you to have an iPhone because the whole point of having an iPhone is to try out all these different apps and to be able to do so many different things and to be able to play games and whatnot. Otherwise, you might as well just have a Blackberry, like no offense or anything. So these are all the games that I have. I'm just going to run through them very quickly. Jurassic Park is super addictive. This is my Jurassic Park app. All you do is follow through with these tasks. Ooh, Jurassic Park! As you guys can hear, it's like really loud. So these are my dinosaurs, you just collect coins and like feed them. It's kind of like Farmville on Facebook, you just run through a bunch of different tasks. Then the one next to it, Spy Mouse, is a bunch of different mazes and you're a mouse, you have to collect the cheese. Draw something, it's connected to your Facebook friends. Then I have two family feuds, one at the top and one at the very bottom. One is the one you have to pay for, the other one's free and you can play with your Facebook friends. Then in the second column, I have Bad Piggy and Angry Birds, and they're pretty much very similar. I have Fruit Ninja, which is really fun. Uh, Tetris, self-explanatory, Monopoly. Badly Drawn Faces is really cool. That little fish thing just draws famous faces of like celebrities and whatnot, and you have to guess who they are. Game of Life and Pac-Man are pretty self-explanatory. Fishbowl, I've actually never played, but it was on the top list for free games. Ice Cream Jump is super fun. So I'll just show you your little ice cream and you have to turn your, ooh, this is hard to do it backwards. You just have to rotate your phone back and forth so it jumps up on the little steps and then, and then you collect points. One of my newest free games that I'm absolutely loving is Flow Free. And all you do is you have to connect the dots. Just like that. And you have to make sure all the spaces are covered and you can't overlap any of the lines. So that one's really fun. Then right beside it, I have Moneyland, and in this I just have everything related to money. So I have PayPal, Scotiabank, Telus, My Account, Air Miles. Then I have Movie Land, and in this I just have three apps. Cineplex shows me all the different movie theaters around me and what times movies are playing. Netflix, you can watch Netflix movies on your phone, which is really fun. And this one beside it is Rotten Tomatoes, and this is awesome because it basically helps me choose which movie I want to watch because there's a bunch of different ratings on it. Then this app right here is Music Land, and I have four apps. My favorite app is Songs Up, and I'm actually going to open up for you. So, so basically, it tells you what day it is. So right now, Saturday afternoon, 
and there's a bunch of different options as to what you're doing so I'm going to click the holidays and then it gives you a list of specific music so I'm going to choose country Christmas and then you can choose one of these options and it just plays a bunch of different songs for you Songza is really awesome because not only is it free but it chooses playlists that are specific to your mood so I think that's really cool then beside that I have Shazam which is helpful if you're listening to music on the radio and you don't know what it's called you just open it up and you press the little center button and it listens to whatever song you're playing and then it will tell you what's the name of your song. But we're not listening to music right now so it won't be able to tell us. Then beside that I have Yelp which is actually an accident. I don't know why that's in here but that should be under the food land and this just shows you all the different places around you if you're looking for something specific. And last but not least I have Magic Piano which is actually a game and it's really fun you just play the piano. So there are a bunch of different songs that you can play on here. So I'm just going to choose Chopsticks so you just like tap on the screen but obviously not like that it's hard to do because I'm doing it backwards but it's actually really fun then this app right here is shopping land so I have everything shopping related Etsy Kijiji and eBay are all awesome little apps that you can get and they're just websites where people sell personal things then I have actual franchises like Pandora Tiffany Karma Loop I have Miss Karma Loop right over here which is just for girls I have Sephora Saks Fifth Avenue I really like the Michaels app because then you can get coupons and I'm very creative so I like to do lots of crafts. And then I have Groupon which is great because it gives you a coupon for the day depending on where you live. And then this one right here, Retail Me Not, is awesome because it gives you a list of all the different coupons in stores around you which is very helpful. And then last but not least I have App of the Day which is really great because it gives you apps that normally cost money and you can download them for free. There's a new app every single day. Then I have newsstand with a couple magazines. I have Cosmopolitan and a wedding magazine. And then last but not least, I have utilities, which is all the boring stuff. But then I also have this cool app, which is called Style Mesh. I'll open that up for you guys. And it's like an Instagram and Pinterest combined in one. So all you do is post pictures that are fashion relating. So these are just a couple of the people that I'm following. And those are all the pictures that they posted, like boots and whatnot. It's actually really fun. I like it because on Instagram, you have to specifically look for fashion related things, like in hashtags or whatnot. Whereas Style Mesh is all everything style related. So if you guys want to follow me on this, my account is SabrinaXO. It's very similar to Instagram. This is where you upload your pictures and it has your followers, your gallery, and news on Style Mesh. This app is really helpful depending on who you follow because it gives you a lot of ideas. I really like to go on here and look at styles that are trending so I can get ideas to make outfit of the days for you guys or even so I can get ideas for things that I want to shop for. And it's awesome because there's everything style related here and that's totally up my alley. The best part about the app is it's free as well. So go ahead and download Style Mesh. I'm pretty sure you guys will like it. My account is SabrinaXO, similar to my YouTube page and my Twitter, so definitely make sure to follow me, upload some pictures. It's really fun. I'm sure you guys will like it. So now onto the giveaway portion of this video. In order to enter for this giveaway, you just have to leave two comments down below. If you are an iPhone user, I want you to leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite app is. Then the second comment you can leave down below on this video, whether you're an iPhone user or a non-iPhone user, is just go on meblingbling.com and let me know which phone case you would love to win if you are chosen as a winner. So good luck to everyone that is entering this giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful because I found these videos very helpful for me when I was downloading apps. So that's all I had to say and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!